hello and welcome to the channel today in this video i will show you how to design this model in FreeCAD with these custom 3d dots as you can see to create this model we'll use three workbench part design fasteners and part workbench and if you like my work please support me on my coifre page okay you will help me to grow this channel and to bring new things about FreeCAD okay so now let's get started First here create a new document, click on this icon to create a new document and now switch to part design workbench. Okay, and first here we'll start this model by drawing this cylinder here. So here in the part design workbench, go to additive tools, these tools here, and click in this arrow and now select additive cylinder. Press home and as you can see this command created the cylinder here in the 3D view. So now we can set the attachment and then change the radius and the height of the cylinder. So for the attachment of the cylinder here, we'll select axis plane. Okay, and the radius of this cylinder will be 15 and the height here will set to 100. Now scroll down and go to the Z duration, change here to minus 100. Now scroll up and click OK. And now as you can see, we have the cylinder here and the next step here is to draw this ellipsoid object here so again here in the part design workbench click in this arrow and now select these two here additives ellipsoid okay and for the attachment of this object here we'll select axis plane so zoom in and select this plane here axis plane and now change the radius here to 50 and here to 32 and here the same distance and now click OK. And as you can see now we have this ellipsoid here and next here we'll draw the cylinder. So again here go to additive tools, click on this arrow and select additive cylinder. And for the cylinder, select XY plane, XY plane as the attachment of the cylinder. And now let's change the radius here to 20 and the height here to 100. And now click OK. And as you can see, now we have the cylinder here. And next here, let's create the cylinder here. So again here, click on this Additive Cylinder tool. Okay, and for this cylinder here, we'll select axial plane. And the range of the cylinder here will set 15, and the heat here will set 50. Okay, and what we went next here, we went to place the cylinder in this position, like in this document here. So what we do here, scroll down and go to Go to the Y duration and here change to 62. And now scroll up and click OK. And now as you can see we have the cylinder here. OK and next thing to do is to create this cylinder here. So again click in this additive cylinder. OK and now for the attachment of the cylinder here select this face. OK and to center this the cylinder here in this face what we do we go to attachment mode here and here select initial CS okay and now scroll up and here we'll set a range of 35 for this cylinder and a height of 5 okay and now just click OK and next here we can create these four holes here so what we do here select this face here and create a new sketch and here switch to section view and now select cycle tool and draw cycle in this vertical line here and let's set a demo of 10 for this cycle okay and now we'll set the distance between the region point to the center point of the cycle so select this or this vertical distance tool and now this region point and the center point and here we'll set a distance of 24 Okay, and now click on this icon to leave this sketch and now we'll create this hole here. So click on this pocket tool 
and as you can see now we have the first hole here so click OK and next here we went to, we went to these four holes here so what to do go to model and now select this pocket this last operation here and go to the polar pattern tool click on this icon and now what to do here here just change the number of occurrence to four and then click OK and as you can see now we have four holes here in the cylinder and the next thing to do here is to add these three dead rods here in these cylinders so how we do this the way to add fasteners or three dead rods in these cylinder face here is to use the fastener sock bench so here in the rock bench selector select fasteners and if you don't have the sort of bench installed in your free card, you can install it by tools and add-on manager. Here you will need the internet connection. Okay. So now let's create this 3D rod here in this in this cylinder face. But first here, how we can add the 3D rod in the 3D view? The way is to use these tools here, these 3D rod tools. And for example, click on this icon here to add a metal 3D rod. Click on this icon, and now if you scroll down here, you can see that here in the 3D view we have a 3D rod. Okay, so now double click on it and move and okay. And now for this 3D rod here, let's change some parameters. So, for example, let's change the diameter here to something like this reference and 42 okay and the length of this 3D grid will set 20 millimeters and now let's change the pitch to 4 millimeters okay and now as you can see we have a problem here in the review with this object so how we can solve this problem here the way is to set the same reference here in the diameter so click in this option and select the same reference M42 and click on this refresh button and now as you can see we don't have problems so now let's make the tree visible the way to do that is to click on this option here and set true and now let's change the type to square tape okay and click on this refresh button and click off and press home and now the next step is to place these three that root here in this cylinder face. So how we can do that? The way to do that is to use the fasteners commands. Okay, these tools here. But first here we need to select the three that root and then control and select this circular edge and now click on this icon here to move the fastener. Okay. And as you can see, here we have this 3D rod in the cylinder face, but we need to invert the orientation of this 3D rod. So for that, we click on this icon here. Okay, and now as you can see, we have these fasteners, this 3D rod in the correct placement. Okay, and next here, let's add this 3D rod in the cylinder here. So again, click on this icon to add a 3D rod here in the 3D view and now double click and move this in this way and OK. And now, for example, let's change the reference of this 3D rod here to, to 40. OK, and as you can see, here we don't have this reference. So the way here is to set Cursor here and here in the diameter cursor we'll set 40 millimeters okay and next scroll down and here the length will be 20 and let's change the pitch here to 4 millimeters and now let's make the thread visible set through here and now change the top to straight tip okay and now as you can see we have the thread root here and the next thing is to place these to the root here in the cylinder face. So again here you will need to select the three root here and control and select this circular edge and now click in this icon and again click in this icon to invert the orientation of the three dead root. And now as you can see we have this in the correct way. 
okay and next here let's create this this reader root here so again click in this icon scroll down and double click here and move these fasteners and now click ok and now let's change the demo of these of this reader root here to okay click here in the demo and select m28 and as you can see we don't have m28 here so the way here is to scroll down and set custom here and now here in the demo custom we'll set our reference 28 okay and the length of this will be 20 and the pitch here let's set 3 millimeters and now let's make the tree visible set true and change here to straight tip okay and now as you can see we have this reader root here okay and the next thing to do is to place this reader root here in the cylinder face so again select the reader root here in the tree view and control and select this circular edge here and click in this icon and now in this icon Okay, and now as you can see, we have this reader root here in this position. And the next thing to do here is to join all of these parts to be a single a single part. So how we can do that? The way is to go to the part workbench, this workbench here, and click in this arrow here. And next here, what to do? Just select this all objects and now click in this icon okay and now as you can see we have a single part here we have this fusion here okay and the next step here is to create these holes in this model so the way here is to use these tools of part workbench so first here let's create this hole here the way here is to create a cylinder okay and now go to the trivia and select the cylinder and now for example change the radius here to 10 millimeters and the height to 250 and okay and now let's set the attachment of this cylinder okay so here what to do go to attachment here in the map mode click in these three points here and now rotate this model and select this face here as the attachment of the cylinder now scroll down and set and check this option flip sides and now just click ok and now as you can see we are able to create the hole okay so how we can do that the way to do that is to use this tool here this cut tool to use this tool here what we need we need first to select the fusion and next to the cylinder and now click in this tool and now as you can see we have the hole here okay and next let's create this hole here so again click in this icon to create a cylinder and select the cylinder here in the tree view and change the range of the cylinder to 17 and the height here to 150 and now as you can see we have the cylinder here and for this cylinder we don't need to we don't need to change the attachment of this cylinder so now we can make the cut so first here select the cut and now the cylinder and click in this icon and now as you can see we have this hole here okay and the next let's create this hole here in this model so again click in this cylinder tool select here and change the range of the cylinder to 12 and the height to 150 okay and for this cylinder here we need to change the placement okay so first here select the cylinder and now and click on mouse and select and select this tool here transform tool and rotate the cylinder in this way and now here in the translation increment set 62 and then Move this arrow in this way and click OK. And now let's make a cut here. So first select this cut and then this cylinder and now click in this cut icon. Okay, and now as you can see we have this hole now.
okay and next here let's create this internal pocket here for this pocket here we'll use we'll use the part design to create the uh, ellipsoid this ellipsoid here and then we we'll use the part workbench to make a subtract of of the two parts surface here click in the workbench selector and select part design workbench go to model and freeze here click spacebar okay and now create a new body here in the part design and now go to additive tools click in this icon and select additive ellipsoid okay and press home and for this ellipsoid here we'll select the axis plane okay and now change this radius here to 40 and these to 28 and this on to 28 and click ok okay and now press on and now as you can see we have this ellipsoid here so now make this card visible spacebar and change to part workbench okay and here we'll subtract this body from this cut here so as you can see here we don't have a pocket okay so okay first here select this cut and next to this body here and click in this icon okay and now as you can see we have a pocket here okay so as you can see we finished the design of this model so thank you for watching this video and if you like my work please support me on my coffee page okay you will help me to grow this channel and to bring new things about free cut okay so support me on my coffee page if you can